everyone a very warm welcome to my channel i hope you are all really well today i'm bringing to you a sainsbury's grocery haul i am sorry i know that this is the third grocery haul in a row from sainsbury's i have really been enjoying the convenience of well sainsbury's is my local supermarket and also i'm just loving the convenience of the self-scan as you go around the shop basically i always refuse i was always one of those people that refused to use the self-scanners because i just felt like it was taking people's jobs away and you know i just felt quite strongly about that however our sainsbury's has recently got rid of all our checkouts i think there is a i'm not even joking here it's a massive shop and i think they have about four checkouts that are actually manned by staff the entire strip is now uh, the smart scan ones and then self checkouts and they put some self checkouts with conveyor belts in and yeah um i'm forced to do it now because if i want to use a checkout with a person on it i have to queue for ages i actually noticed today that the queue was about five trolleys deep i'm but i am enjoying the convenience of it now i've got the hang of it and i appreciate bagging it as i go and then just quickly paying it just it saved me so much time but I realised that for viewers, it's nice to see different supermarkets. Now, next week, I'm not sure what's going to happen because next week is Easter week and I need to do some Easter shopping. So I'm definitely going to be branching out beyond Sainsbury's. I think I'm going to Aldi. I'm hosting Easter. I've got a lot to prepare. So I need to get on top of all of that. And I think Aldi might be the place to be for me next week so I expect I will be sharing an Aldi haul next week instead of the Sainsbury's one but we shall see anyway I've waffled on a little bit there I do apologize if you are new here hello and welcome my name's Leanne I am on the Slimming World plan so this grocery haul is a Slimming World haul as well as a family haul because there are four of us in this house there's myself my husband and our two children our two boys um they are six and eight and they don't stop eating genuinely they just do not stop eating it's getting worse as they're getting older i'm sure it's going to get a lot worse as well than it is now so yes i have included information on sins where i can and where i remember but please do check these for yourself if you are on the plan because i do sometimes get th get things wrong and Simmerwell do also regularly change their information so just check for yourself to protect your own weight loss but yeah with all that said let's jump into the haul I do apologise about the glare. I've had to put my undercounter lights on because it is so dark today. I've got some turkey breast mini fillets. These will just go in the air fryer and will just form one of our meals this week. Um, some wild salmon. This was on a nectar offer. I always try and get wild salmon if I can, if it's on a decent price because it is meant to be better for us. Um, I've got some 5% fat meatballs these are half a sin for two meatballs and then i've got some chicken breast fillets I've got some king's meal 50 50 this is not a healthy extra you have to sin this it's four and a half cents per slice um this is the outpro no sugars oat milk which is what i use in my coffee this is 325 mils for a healthy extra a choice for one choice and then the semi skim milk for the family which is 250 mils for a healthy extra a choice um i've got some pasta there's some whole wheat fusilli and some spaghetti whole wheat spaghetti so that will go with the meatballs then i got some carrots i've got a couple of bags of carrots this week because we're just going through them so quickly some frozen whole green beans love these they're really handy they cook in about five minutes and they're just great to bulk out meals with got some brown rice this is the microwave brown rice it's just really handy to keep in the cupboard. It is two sins for a packet. Got some crinkle cut chips and some waffles. The chips, I have no idea what sins they are, um, but the, the waffles are two sins each. Um, I've got some dark sweet cherries. Absolutely love these. And what I plan to do with these is defrost some, then just lightly mash them and then mix them in with my Greek yogurt and pop them with my soaked chia seeds maybe some oats or wheat bix or something like that got some crepes these are the chocolate hazelnut filled crepes these are seven and a half sins each some cod fillet fish fingers these are two sins each got some sweet corn got some of this soft scoop vanilla ice cream and it's not too bad on sins it's four sins for 
100ml and I didn't think that was too bad really. Um, I got some splash for the kids toothpaste and some uh, for the adults. I've got barbecue chicken pizza. This is for my husband and the boys. They have pizza night on a Friday because it's a real rush. So we've got barbecue chicken, four cheese and a pepperoni. So I think my oldest son might have his friend over on Friday night as well. So that'll be, um, yeah, that'll be enough pizza to go around then. I've got some of these best of British tomatoes. They look really good. I got some large wine tomatoes, my husband's sandwiches, two tubs of pomegranate. This is still on two for two pounds. I've got some fire total zero percent Greek yogurt. This is my yogurt and it is my absolute favourite. I say this every week. It's still on offer in Sainsbury's at the moment. And this is the 950 gram tub and it's sin free. This one is the uh, full fat Greek yogurt. This is actually for my husband. Um, this is 19 and a half sins for this tub. I do like to add a little bit of this full fat to the 0% and just sin what I use. But I don't always do that. It just depends how many sins I've got to play with. And I've got some ripe and ready avocados. These aren't ripe and ready. They are fairly firm. So I will have these throughout the week on the side of my meals. These tend to weigh in at 100 grams because they're not very big. And 100 grams of avocado is nine and a half sins. So I either have the whole one and sin it or I um, half it, share it with my husband and I count four and a half sins for 50 grams. But I do always weigh it out and I do always sin it because I have heard people say they don't bother sinning it, but it is very high in calories and could very easily, get well, it could make you gain weight. It could very easily affect your weight loss if you don't, but it's a personal choice. So, but I do choose to sin mine. I've got some sweet peppers, and some whole grain multis, 40 grams of these are your healthy extra B. And some multi grain hooplers, again, 40 grams is a healthy extra B. I've got some raspberries, some blueberries, and some spring onions. I've got a couple of bunches of those. And a cucumber down there, some red seedless grapes. I've got some cream crackers. These are for my son. He loves these with a bit of cheese. These are one and a half cents each on Swimming World. I've got some of this. I was very excited to see a new flavour. This is the Naturally Next by Sugar Free um, drink. And this is a pineapple sparkling soda. I've mentioned the coconut one on here before because it is absolutely delightful. And because I'm not drinking alcohol, I like something like this at the weekend. And I saw they've got a pineapple one. I'm really excited to try that. It is sin free and it is flavoured naturally. I've got some New York Bakery Co wholemeal bagels. They're my son's. They're about 11 cents each, I think. I've got some of this strawberry conserve, just a posh jam, I think, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is half a sin for a level teaspoon. Just handy to have this in. My son likes jam sandwiches, but also it's just handy if you want to just put a teaspoon for half a sin, say on your porridge or in your overnight oats or something like that, just to add a bit of sweetness. And then I've got some sweet pickle for my husband's sandwiches this is one sin for a tablespoon so it's really good actually the lighting is terrible i'm so sorry um i got some fruit and nut medley for my husband he likes to snack on things like this and this is six sins for 25 grams i've got a tuna in brine for tuna pasta this week i've already got one tin of tuna so i just needed one this week i've got some of these cajun chicken breast grills i got these last week and they were really really nice they are good size and they are three sins for the pack and then i've got some roast chicken breast slices for my husband for his um, lunches and this is sin free some cheese doritos these are the multi-pack ones for the pack lunches and these are seven and a half sins for a bag got pot noodles these are for my husband and um, they're all on offer the normal size ones and the king ones i got the king ones because they were a pound and the normal size ones were 90 pence so they're on a neck to offer at the moment if you're after those um but i don't know the sins on them and they're not for me i got some fruits these are the mixed ones they are on an offer i wanted some yogurts for the kids and all the tubs were really expensive today there wasn't any offers i think these were on one pound 25 i was laughing with my husband actually yesterday because when the boys were small and they were weaning and just were less picky i used to use uh the greek yogurt the fat full fat greek yogurt and then i used to blend up fruit like strawberries raspberries blueberries i used to blend it up and stir it into the yogurt for them and they used to love it they wouldn't it was obviously such a better choice and they won't touch that now so yeah anyway these are one sin each on slimming world I got some Freddos and these are fairly popular on Swimming World, I think. I've actually got these for the boys after school snacks. 
but on Sim and Wild, these are five Sims each. Got some cheese. This is on offer still, £2.75, so that's why I bought it. 30 grams of this is a healthy extra age always. I've got some Candorel Stevia Blend sweeteners, just what my husband puts in his coffee. I've got some bananas. I've got some of these Lindahl's Quag Stratiatella flavour, like the white chocolate, um, not white chocolate, uh, the, the plain kind of um, quark and it's got like little chocolate chips in it's just 15 grams of protein so it's quite handy if I need um, to grab something after school which I very often do so yeah it keeps me going I've got some tissues because I've got illness in the house at the moment my little boy is constantly wiping his nose I've got some eggs and some broccoli and yeah that is everything that I bought from Sainsbury's this week so that is everything that I bought for our family for the week Thank you as always so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.